A former Arapaho High School security guard speaking out, accusing school officials of a cover up after last year's shooting. Lindsay Watts talking to her this afternoon. And Lindsay, she's not the first to say the school ignored red flags. Right, Eric, what we heard from security guard Christina Colt today echoes allegations from another Arapaho High School guard that shooter Carl. Carl Pearson showed signs of this violence and they were ignored by the school. If they had been taken more seriously, then Claire Davis might not have lost her life. Christina Koch spoke publicly today answering questions along with her attorney. She talked about the angry outburst she saw from Carl Pearson. She says some were never documented, even though she did report them. Koch says she saw Pearson looking at guns on his laptop. This was about two months before the shooting. She said administrators said it was his laptop and there was nothing they could do. She points to other examples where she said there wasn't proper punishment, like when Pearson threatened to kill his debate teacher. Documents show authorities decided he wasn't a high-level threat after that, and he was able to go back to class. Kolk is claiming this is part of a bigger problem with the school not properly dealing with students' violent behavior. She says she was even told to stop putting things in writing, though she doesn't know why. I don't know. I honestly wish I had that answer. I think a lot of it has to do with, I think a lot of stuff isn't documented. I mean. There's, there's a lot of times that in several students that I've brought up to the administration that it's not documented in their behavior. Coke is now on paid leave from that security job, and she does believe it's because she's now speaking out. Littleton Public Schools still have not responded no, to these allegations, the right and they did not right call, uh, they did not return my request for comment this afternoon or evening. Lindsay Watt, 7 News.